Hi, my name is Stephen Ongbo Metekama, Director of Metekama Online Computers. I'm speaking from Metekama Online Studio here in Kaduna. Uh, I'm here with the following system operation uh, questions and I want us to attend them all together. Number one question is, what is a transformer? What is a transformer? The second question is, what is parallel of transformers? Parallel of transformers. Number three, what are the factors to be considered before two or more transformers can be parallel? So I start with the answers as follows. Number one, what is a transformer? A transformer can be said to be an electrical device that transforms electrical energy by electromagnetic induction at the same frequency with usually a change value of voltage and current. I repeat, a transformer can be said to be an electrical device that transforms electrical energy by electromagnetic induction at the same frequency with usually a change value of voltage and current. Then, second question, what is parallel of transformers? And what condition will warrant one to, to parallel the transformers? Parallel of transformers can be said to be bringing together two or more transformers uh, with the same capacity and connecting them, feeding them to a common bus so as common circuit or common bus, so as to improve the power demand by a town, a company, or an industry. So let me give you the illustration as follows. Let's assume uh, a transmitting station of 132 33 uh, KV as a uh, 60 MV transformer has been installed in that station. If the transmitting station has a 60 MVA of 132-33 kV a transformer is so 60 MVA and it is feeding a town that has a load demand of 30 megawatts and you find that that 60 MVA transformer operates not enough to provide that power demand it can't supply it it will only supply 48 at maximum and we don't like it to be at maximum and what will be remaining a megawatts from that 70 megawatts if you remove 48 from 70, you have just left lot. Then the one that is left over, definitely you have to go by you have to go to low shading so as to save that transformer. So uh, when the load increases and um, overshoot the capacity of the transformer, then it will necessitate uh, the, the demand for bringing in another transformer is now needed. You will have to bring in another transformer with the same capacity so as to provide that 70 megawatts. So if you bring in another transformer of 60 MVA, uh, combined with the one you have before, you parallel them, connect them to the same circuit, connect them to the same bus, and uh, a power of about 96 megawatts will now be available for you to pick because 48 megawatts and another 48 megawatts will give you 96 because 60 MVA transformer will deliver 48 megawatt at maximum at a power factor of about 0 0.8. So if you bring in a second one again of 60 MVA, it will still give you uh, 48 megawatt at a power factor of 0 0.8. By the time you add the two 48, 48 megawatts together, you are getting about 96, and that will be able to supply the power that is needed by a town or by a company that needs 70 megawatts. This is, what, this is what is called parallel of transformer. Bringing it through transformer together, feeding them to the same bus so as to improve the power demand. And I gave an example. A 60 MVA transformer, we can only deliver 48. If you bring in another one, it will deliver 48 at the power factor of 0 0.8. By the time you add 48 and 48 into 2, it gives you 96 megawatts. So that will be able to meet up with the demand of the town or demand of the industry or demand of that company that is parallel then what are the factors 
that you want we consider first before you now parallel the transformers. Factors to be considered before parallel transformers. So I mentioned number one is the capacity of the transformers. That's capacity of the transformers. Or we call the rating of the transformer should be the same. If you are bringing in, if you are going to parallel two transformers of, six, of 60 MVA, all of them should be 60 MVA. And if you are going to bring in two transformers of 150 MVA, the, all of them that are meant to be parallel should be 150 MVA. If it is 30 MVA, all of them should be 30 MVA. Don't bring in a different capacity transformer to parallel with another uh, transformer which has a different capacity. Then the next thing to be considered is the voltage level. If you are bringing a transformer of 330 kV, the one you are going to parallel should also be 330. The voltage level should be the same. Voltage level should be the same. Then uh, the ratio should equally be the same. Voltage ratio or transformer ratio should be the same. If you are bringing in a transformer of uh, 132 stroke 33 kV, the next one that you are bringing in for the parallel should equally have the same 132 stroke 33 kV. And if it is 330 stroke 132, the one you are bringing in should be 330 also to 132, not 132 to 33 kV and 132 to 11 kV. No, it will not match. So the ratio should be the same. Then the fourth factor is our percentage impedance. Percentage impedance. The percentage impedance of the transformer should be the same. And uh, if I may ask, what do you think, what do, uh, what do you mean by, or what is percentage impedance? Or what do you mean by saying the transformer uh, uh, percentage should be the same? What does that mean? So what it means is that uh, the voltage at the short circuit condition of the transformer to the rated voltage times 100 is what is called the percentage impedance. The voltage at short circuit condition short circuit condition of the transformer to the rated voltage of the transformer times 100. That is the percentage impedance. Or we can say it in another way, is that the voltage at full load current of that transformer, maximum current, full load current of that transformer, the voltage at that, at that condition to the rated voltage times 100. That gives you the percentage impedance. So what we mean is that the percentage of the transformers to be parallel, all of them should be the same. Then the next is the tap position. The tap position of the two transformers or more transformers to be parallel should be the same. If the first one is on tap seven, the second one should also be on tap seven, the third one should be on tap seven, others should also be in tap seven. But not to put one on tap seven and leave one on tap four and leave another one on tap eight. Uh, that will result to what is called uh, tap staggering. Uh, tap staggering. And tap staggering uh, normally result to circulating, uh, circulating current. And circulating current, uh, this condition of trying to parallel so as to improve the power supply uh, is not the best. But tap staggering can be used for to achieve other uh, purposes, but not when you are paralleling two or more transformers so as to improve the load demand. That is that. So I repeat, uh, transformer is an electrical device that transforms electrical energy by electromagnetic induction at the same frequency with usually a change value of voltage and current. And parallel of transformers is bringing you two or more transformers and feeding them into the same bus so as to improve power demand to a town, to an industry, or to a company. And the factors that one will consider before you parallel transformer are as follows. The transformer capacity or rating, the transformer voltage, uh, the transformer ratio, the transformer uh, percentage impedance, the transformer tap position, and if possible, the transformer make should be the same. But even if the make is not the same, that the manufacturer, if it's not the same, and the uh, first factors have been achieved, then the, the transformers can be parallel. So for a better operation, if the transformer is a Toshiba transformer, all of them should be Toshiba. If it is Mitsubishi transformer, all of them should be Mitsubishi. Uh, if it is ABB transformer or Areva transformer, all of them should be the same. But even if they are not the same, provided the factors, the remaining factors are being made, you can see parallel them. But if you have the same make, it is better. 
So thank you so much for watching. The next lesson uh, will be on the 15 volt battery banks and the 110 volt, uh, 10 volt battery banks and their functions. That will be the next lecture. So you can subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos on Bose TV on YouTube channel or you can get my WhatsApp number which is 090-22-485-961. I repeat my WhatsApp number for chatting, 090-22-485-961. Thank you so much for watching and bye for now.